Our first act stars none other than Peter Parker. With a pizza prowess that proves even superheroes struggle with balancing work and hero duties. Picture this. Peter juggling pizza deliveries and fighting crime, all while delivering one-liners as cheesy as the pizzas he carries. As we say, why did Peter join a pizza-making class because Spider-Man knows the art of tossing dough and foes? Next up, we have Aunt May, returning with unfiltered wisdom that cuts through the chaos of Peter's double life. Whether she's giving Peter love advice or sharing pearls of life wisdom, Aunt May's insightful words are a comforting constant in the superhero storm. As the joke goes, why did Aunt May consider stand-up comedy? Because her jokes are as timeless as her love for Peter. In our third act, we spotlight Mary Jane Watson. With theatrical troubles that delve into the challenges of fame, love, and being the occasional damsel in distress. From her Broadway dreams to her complicated relationship with Peter, MJ's life is a dramatic masterpiece. As we quip, why did MJ audition for a sitcom because her love life is a sitcom waiting to happen? Our fourth act showcases Harry Osborne, with a hair-raising revenge plot that adds a layer of complexity to his character. From his conflicted feelings about Peter to his evolving relationship with Spider-Man, Harry's story is a tangled web of emotions. As we jest, why did Harry start a hair care line? because revenge is a dish best served with great hair. Moving on to our fifth act, we delve into the life of Dr. Octopus, or Dr. Otto Octavius, with domestic dilemmas as he juggles a life of science, crime, and his sentient mechanical tentacles. From his failed fusion experiment to his multitasking mayhem, Doc Ock's tale is a hilarious twist on the typical supervillain narrative. As we jest, why did Doc Ock consider a career in event planning? because handling multiple tasks is his tentacle talent. Our grand finale features Spider-Man's spectacular train stunt, a scene that became an instant classic in superhero cinema. As we quip, why did Spider-Man join the circus? Because his acrobatics are a high-flying act that even the ringmaster would envy. And there you have it, true believers and spider fans, a journey through Spider-Man 2 filled with superhero sarcasm, laughs, and character roasts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more comedic film adventures. Until next time, keep swinging, keep laughing, and remember, with great power comes great responsibility.